Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be finding the minimum value of an expression. X, Y, Z are positive quantities, and we're trying to minimize X over Y plus 4Y over Z plus 2Z over X. Notice that X, Y, Z cannot be zero, so we don't have an issue with that. And let's go ahead and solve this by using substitution. And I'm also going to be using a method that's commonly used with inequalities. So to, to minimize this expression, I'm going to use inequalities. And then at the end, I'm going to prove that the value we get from here is also attainable. All right, so let's go ahead and set x over y equal to a, 4y over z equal to b, and 2z over x equal to c. So that the expression we're trying to minimize is as easy as a plus b plus c. Now, how do you minimize the sum of three numbers? This is where the awesome inequality rule or property or whatever you want to call that, the theorem, comes in. And it's called AMGM inequality. AMGM stands for arithmetic mean and geometric mean. And it's true that the arithmetic the arithmetic mean of a number of positive numbers is always greater than or equal to their geometric mean. What do I mean by arithmetic mean and geometric mean? Let's go ahead and explain that. So the arithmetic mean is basically the average of the numbers. And again, since x, y, z are all positive, a, b, c are also going to be positive. Therefore, AMGM applies to this situation. Great, so let's go ahead and write down AMGM for three positive numbers. The arithmetic mean or the average of three numbers, A, B, C, is the one-third of their sum, and this is always going to be greater than or equal to the cube root of their product, which is the geometric mean. So in other words, the geometric mean of n numbers is the nth root of their product, and in this case, we have three numbers, therefore we use the cube root. So... I, I believe we proved this in another video, uh, how to prove this type of inequality. You use a really interesting identity uh, with cubes, and we also, uh, I think I've also made some videos on that topic as well. So this should be familiar to you if you are familiar with the channel. All right, so let's go ahead and um, see how we can use this to our advantage. Uh, notice that x over y is a, and everything else is right there. So let's go ahead and plug it in, right? So I'm going to plug in all these values. So x a is going to be x over y. And then b is 4y over z. And c is 2z over x. So I add them up and divide by 3. And this is supposed to be greater than or equal to the cube root of their product. Well, this is where the fun part starts because when you multiply these expressions, pretty much all the variables cancel out. That's what's really cool about AMGM is that you get these expressions and you can easily compare them. So here, obviously, x, y, z are all different from zero. So I can go ahead and get rid of them. x cancels out, y cancels out, and z cancels out. And that leaves us with 8, but it's the cube root of 8. Therefore, this is equal to 2 on the right-hand side. And... This is what we are trying to minimize. So we can go ahead and write this as an inequality. x over y plus 4y over z plus 2z, or not 2z, over x is greater than or equal to 3 times 2, which is 6. So it looks like our expression is always going to be greater than or equal to 6. Therefore, can I safely say that 6 is the minimum value, right? Here's one thing we need to check. Is the value of 6 attainable, we, meaning that for certain values of x, y, z, can we get the sum to be 6? That's what I'm going to check next. So the question is, is 6 attainable? And by AMGM, it is attainable because if A equals B equals C, then our inequality turns into A plus B plus C over 3. I can basically replace B and C with A. That gives me A. And obviously, that is the cube root of A, A, A. Or you can write it as A, B, C if you want, because they're all equal. Their cube roots, the cube root of their products is going to be A. 
Make sense? Okay, so in order for that inequality to turn into an equation, they all have to be equal. Let's go ahead and check if these uh, three values, x over y, 4y over z, and 2z over x, be equal to each other. And for that to happen, x over y equals 4y over z, and that equals 2z over x. In order for this to happen, I'm just going to set this like I solve this as a proportion problem. Set all of them equal to k, where k is a constant, right? And obviously k is different from 0. This means x can be written as ky, and y can be written as kz over 4, and z can be written as kx over 2. So here's what I'd like to do. I want z with kx over 2 here. And that gives me y equals k over 4 times kx over 2, which can be written as k squared x over 8. But y can also be written as x over k from here, right? Then if I set y equal to x over k, x does not equal 0, x cancels out, and I get k cubed equals 8, which is nice because this gives me k equals 2. And what is that supposed to mean? It means that when all of these are equal to 2, it works, and obviously 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6, which is the minimum value of this sum. Therefore, to sum it up, we can safely say x over y equals 4y over z equals 2z over x, and when they're all equal to 2, from here we get x equals 2y, and z equals 2y, and of course y equals y, and don't ask why. Therefore, we can write the solution as an order triple. x, y, z can be written as 2y, comma, y, comma, y. Which means if x and z satisfy, oops, that should be a 2y, never mind. So in this case, if we have this type of order triple, then definitely uh, our sum is going to take the minimum value. So what is that supposed to mean? For example, suppose y is equal to 5, right? Then if we have 10, 5, and 10, then the sum, the sum x over y plus the 4y over z plus the 2z over x is going to be written as x over y plus 4y over z plus 2z over x can be written as 2 plus 2 plus 2 and that is going to be the minimum value. If you try other combinations, obviously, you're not going to get minimum value, which means you're going to get something greater than 6. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.